Henry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, and congratulations on your first hearing as a subcommittee chair. Uh, thank you all for your testimony. I have been able to watch part of it on TV, and I was in for part of uh, the, the remainder. Uh, Mr. Halassi. Yes. You are a senior. Yes, I am. Where are you going to college? Well, I am waiting for the decision letters to be mailed back. So, um, Where did you apply to? I applied to University of Central Florida, um, University of South Florida, University of Miami, Florida Atlantic University, um, Florida <laughs> Institute of Technology, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Florida schools. <laughs> Was it because of Snowmageddon? <laughs> Was it because of all the snow we had last year? <laughs> Somewhat. I just love the environment. Well, that's great. So how many colleges did you apply to? I think it's about six or seven. Bethune-Cookman is another one I'm applying to. Okay. Okay. Ms. Alvarez. Yes. Where do you want to go to college? Um, I know it's a little early, <laughs> but I bet you know a couple places. Where, where I know Mount St. Mary's. And like he said, um, FIU Florida International, that's in my school. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay. So, Mr. Halassi, so the DC Opportunity Scholarship, what has it meant to you? Just sum it up for us. Life changing experience. I want to be the person that I am right here before you all if it wasn't for the DC Opportunity Scholarship Program. To life changing? Yes. It changed me as an individual, as a person. Why? Why? Why did it change you? It, it's, it's just money. H how does this actually affect your life? It's the, as I stated in my testimony, it's not just what this program does academically, but it's how it impacts an individual through education. And that's what it has done for me. Okay. Ms. Alvarez, you mentioned that you had uh, parental involvement that actually made this happen. Yes. Are there other folks in your family who have been involved in your life and, and encourage you? Yes, all of my my family, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunts, every, all of my family have always been encouraging me to f go for my future and make the best out of it. Mr. Lassie, is that your same experience? Others in your family encouraging you? Yes, yes, others in my family certainly encourage me. Okay, okay. Well, it's, um, it's interesting because, um, so, Mr. Lassie, you, when you came in, to sixth grade, you said you had to repeat sixth grade. Yes, I had to because the public school system basically failed me. I wasn't successful in the public school system. Are you now prepared to go to college? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, Ms. Alvarez? Yes. How long, have you been, uh, how long have you been receiving the D.C. scholarship? Since uh, 2004. Since 2004. Was that first year? Yes. Really tough? Mm, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I think you're bragging too. <laughs> um, well, you know, not just having your parents involved makes such a huge difference. But um, Ms. Alvarez, you mentioned that Sacred Heart School is the only bilingual Catholic school in the D.C. area. Correct. Um, how important is it for you to have that choice of, a, of having a bilingual school? It's important because at the same time I don't lose my background of Spanish from where I come from but yet I get the, the language of English, so it's, I still have both languages in my life. So I also ask Ms. Mr. Alassi this, Ms. Alvarez, um, are you prepared, I ask if you're prepared to go to, to college, are you prepared to go to high school? Yes, certainly. And where are you going to go? Um, I got two acceptance letters, one from St. John's and one from Carroll, but I'm choosing Carroll. <laughs> Do you think that's a good choice, Mr. Lassie? Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for your testimony. I know it's tough to sit before uh, this committee and, and have uh, folks lecture you or ask you questions or both. Um, but uh, thank you so much for, uh, for being an advocate for opportunity. Thank you.